Hi, it's Heather, and today I'm making Snapper Meunier, which is one of my favorite dishes for summer because it is easy, quick, and delicious. Um, I'm serving it with Israeli couscous, which again, really fast, 10 minutes, and asparagus. Now asparagus can be a little tricky with wine, so I'm gonna roast mine, uh, which brings up the sugars and makes it a bit more mellow. If you are afraid of turning on your oven in the heat, by all means, grill it, but don't steam it. I'm gonna start with uh, snapper fillets, skin on, and just because it's a fillet does not mean it's boneless. Typically, there are about four or five pin bones here at the top, so I'm gonna take pliers that I got right from uh, my hardware store and carefully pull them out. Now. You can get fish tweezers, um, but you don't need to. These work really well. Okay, and there it is. Now, uh, the one last thing we need to do is sort of cut it down to size because this is a bit big to flip. So I'm just going to cut it on the bias so it looks a little nice. And uh, there you have it. Your fish is prepped, and we are ready to cook. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is get our pan hot. So I'm going to turn that on. Then uh, I have about a pound and a quarter fish, so I'm going to do two batches. Uh, I like to season them with salt and pepper. I put it all in the same container, makes it easier. Just season both sides really well. And then I'm going to put it in, again, seasoned flour. I like to season at every level. i got to put a little oil in my pan, about, oh, a tablespoon and a half. Get it good and hot. Use canola. A grape seed or peanut, do not use olive oil. It will smoke. All right, beautiful. I have one filet in, two, and now a third. Now, you want this to cook for about uh, three minutes until it's nice and golden brown. It's great if you can just sort of hold it down a little bit so it gets evenly crispy. This will go like I said, about three minutes, then flip it, two minutes on the other side, take it off to a warm platter, do the whole thing again with your other batch. Okay, now we are ready for our bear noisette or brown butter sauce. First thing you're gonna do is check the pan. If it's got a lot of fat in it or little burnt parts, just wipe out that skillet a little bit. The heat should be medium, and we're gonna put in about uh, four tablespoons of butter and let that brown it goes against everything you learn about you know cooking butter don't brown it don't brown it but today we're going to brown it you see let's give it a little help a little swish around you can see it's starting already it's going to foam up and what happens is the solids fall to the ground and give it that nice golden color uh, noisette is for um hazelnut so it gets a nice hazelnut color so now it's still going what i'm going to do is add about a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Be careful, it splatters. It's gonna cool it down right away. I'm gonna turn the heat off. There it goes. Watch out, it's splattering, but it's instantly cooling it down. The final thing I like to add are capers. You can add parsley or any other stuff you want. I dig the capers. Ooh, look, it's getting nice and brown. And uh, that's it. We have our sauce. You can put it in a bowl or pour it right over the fillets. Let's get to the table. This is the best part. Okay, we have our snapper, our asparagus, our couscous, and of course, the brown butter sauce, which just works with everything. Pour it where you will. As for the wine, I've chosen a Chenin Blanc from Fair Valley. This is owned and operated by black South Africans. An excellent value, an excellent wine, and a screw cap. Get rid of your corkscrews, y'all, because screw caps are coming. For wine, for recipes, for much, much more, hit my website, sogood.tv. Thanks.